In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to virtually wholesale real estate step by step. This is gonna be a complete $4,000 wholesaling real estate course when it comes to virtually wholesaling houses start to finish. If you're looking into virtual wholesaling real estate and you wanna spend four grand on a course, don't do it. This is gonna be the complete course that the wholesaling gurus do not want you to know that I'm gonna show you step by step today. We're gonna to break down exactly how to find virtual wholesaling deals, the top lists, the top marketing channels. Then we're gonna get into exactly what to say to the seller if you're virtually wholesaling, how to lock up the deal. And most importantly, you might have this question, how do I do boots on the ground? How do I actually get pictures of the house? Then I'm gonna show you how to easily dispo the virtual wholesaling deal so you're not stuck with a contract that you honestly can't sell. I'm also gonna break down how much to offer on these deals, how to sell them for top dollar, so you this year in 2023 can have the best success possible for virtually wholesaling real estate. The reason why I gotta make this video is we are approaching 2024 really quickly here, and for virtually wholesaling in 2024, and especially now, things have changed. I make videos every single year about how to start in virtual wholesaling, and as somebody that actively virtually wholesales, the entire game has changed. And if you do not know how to do it the right way, you're gonna get screwed up and not become successful. So before I break this down, before I literally just give you a $4,000 virtual wholesaling course right here in this video, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get into it. So your first question is going to be like, whoa, 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 why is a 24-year-old kid teaching me how to virtually wholesale? What does this guy know? Well, my name is Zach, and if you've never heard about me, I've been wholesaling real estate for over seven years, and for about six years, I've been virtually wholesaling houses. I've done over 2,000 wholesaling real estate deals, and the one thing you need to know about me is I don't need your money. This is why I'm making this video. It's why people like clicking in and watching these videos, because I'm not here to sell you something at the end. I'm just gonna give you the entire virtual wholesaling game that I've done to do over 2,000 wholesaling deals absolutely for free today. I make a lot of money wholesaling real estate and virtually wholesaling houses. Yes, I like JV with you guys on the channel, but honestly, I'm just trying to put you on a wholesaling real estate game for free. So you know I do a lot of wholesaling deals. That is why I'm breaking it down for you today. So the first question you probably have is what is virtual wholesaling? Virtual wholesaling is the same process as regular wholesaling real estate. We find a motivated seller, we do our marketing, we lock up a contract, we bring it to the title company, we find a cash buyer, they do a walkthrough, they like it, we do the assignment of contract, basically us selling that contract, and then at the end we get our check. That's just regular wholesaling houses. Now virtual wholesaling is when you do it on the computer, when you just have your phone and internet connection and you actually wanna do this all from outside the country or in a market that's not good. Why virtual wholesaling is so awesome is because with just the internet connection, anywhere in the world, you can just wholesale real estate. As you see on this channel, I can travel the entire world and still run my wholesaling real estate operations virtually too. So basically this is the process of just wholesaling houses on the computer. We talk to the seller over the phone, we sell the deal over the phone, we can get the pictures of the phone, we can get the entire process done without actually physically being there. And this is what we're breaking down step by step today. Now let's break down really quick a virtual wholesaling deal overview. I like to give a full overview of what it's gonna look like and then get in the details from there. Remember, I told you I'm doing a $4,000 virtual wholesaling course today. I'm going to do it just like if you paid me four grand to learn this stuff. Overview number one, marketing. This is us finding the virtual wholesaling deal. Most people feel like they can't get any deals because they can't drive for dollars or do any reverse drawing for dollars like I say. But there's plenty of strategies out here to pull lists to get these deals and to do marketing channels that you physically don't have to be there for. Now frankly I'll let you know there are pros and cons to virtual wholesaling. There's easy ways to do it and there's hard ways of doing it. I'm going to show you the easy way so you have the best success right now. Once we get the marketing we're going to lock up the deal. The way I like virtually wholesaling especially when it comes to locking up deals is to use an e-signing service. This can be dot loop or DocuSign or there's Panda Doc and all these free e-signing services. Adobe's got another good one too. You really don't need any money to do virtual wholesaling either if you're completely broke. And that's another great benefit of virtual wholesaling. From there, we'll find a cash buyer. Remember, we're still doing this all from our phone. We obviously have to qualify this cash buyer, see if they're good or legit. And then from there, they can walk through the house. Now we can get a boots on the ground here who's going to actually walk the property through with them, or we can actually trust the cash buyer. We're going to kind of break this down on the dispositions process today. Then we get the assignment of contract signed. We can actually use that same e-signing service make sure we get our non-refundable deposit. Then we follow up with the seller and the cash buyer and get the deal done. So let's break down the details on every single parts of this process. Number one, and probably the one you're stressing right now, where do I find a good virtual wholesaling market? Where's the best market? Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. I don't know what to do here, right? You're 
probably freaking out right now because you don't know how to find the top virtual wholesaling markets. It feels like there's this big conspiracy and secrets of great markets and bad markets. But the honest truth is on this channel, I've exposed this a million times. I'm going to expose it again today. Every good virtual wholesaling market has two criteria it meets. Number one, a good virtual wholesaling market has a population over 100,000 people. The reason being for this is because if there's a decent population, there's a decent amount of wholesaling deals and a decent amount of cash buyers. We want a lot of deals and we also want a lot of cash buyers. Remember, we're getting to virtual wholesaling to make a ton of money. We're not doing this to stay broke. The second criteria here is the median home price has to be below $500,000. Now, I'm kind of hesitant here. I'd like to say 400,000, but the sake of this video, just for every good virtual wholesaling market, let's call it 500,000. That means the property for a city on average, so the average house has to be worth $500,000 or below. How do you figure this out? Same thing with the population. Just a quick Google search. If you search Dallas County, Texas, median home price, it's gonna pop it up on Zillow or realtor.com. But we wanna make sure our good virtual wholesaling market has both of those criteria: high population, but also the median home price is low enough. There are probably 300 metro markets that fit this criteria in the United States. Now I'm not gonna go tell you, hey, go do Macon, Georgia, right? Because if I say Macon, Georgia, which is a decent virtual wholesaling market, it's not the best one, FYI. Every person and the tens of thousands of people and the hundreds of thousands of wholesalers in my Facebook groups and subscribers are all gonna flood into that market. Probably not the best thing for all those virtual wholesalers just to go after one market. Look up the populations, look up the counties, look at the list from the census, and figure it out from there. If you have a market that fits that criteria, it's really hard for you not to do well in it. Make sure you avoid the obvious bad markets out here. LA, San Francisco, Miami, Chicago, New York City. As long as you avoid those, Seattle, those are all outside of actually my criteria. You should be fine virtually wholesaling real estate. Once we find our market, how do we actually find these wholesaling deals? How do I actually make 50 grand in my first virtual wholesaling deal? I know it seems crazy, but it's actually completely possible for you to do. Well, my top lists are are really simple. I wish I could tell you there's a super secret list that nobody knows about because you paid me four grand, I'm gonna tell you. But these are lists that you actually can just go out there yourself and get for free, or you can use a software to get. Let's talk about my favorite list to pull right now if you're watching this. These are government lists, and I know you're probably rolling your eyes like, oh my gosh, he always talks about this. Government lists, government lists, government lists. The reason why I talk about government lists so much is because these are lists you get from the government that the average virtual wholesaler is too lazy to pull. I and mean, frankly, their guru doesn't want to actually mention it because they can't make money off of you pulling this list. These are lists you can get from the government. These could be probates, people that pass away, the evictions list, people that are just hired landlords that are evicting their tenants, the tax delinquency list, people not paying their taxes, pre foreclosures, people behind on their mortgage payments, fire damage property list, houses that just went on fire. Heck, you already saw the podcast a couple weeks ago. I actually interviewed Joel. He's making over $120,000 a month only doing fire damage properties. Guys, the list can go on and on forever. As long as you pull a list from the government that actually has a motivating criteria, you can get a good wholesaling deal. You can also use a paid service. I recommend PropStream for pulling most of your data if you're using a paid service. Now, there's other free services that will pull lists like high equity and pre-foreclosures. But let me frankly just tell you the truth. That data is trash. And when you're paying for skip tracing and you're actually putting your time and effort into wholesaling, you actually want to get data sources that are legit from companies that put tens and tens of millions of dollars into getting the best data possible. So PropStream, aka listrei.com. I say listrei.com because that's just a quick and easy link for you to get a free trial to PropStream. I would probably recommend the absentee owners, the vacant properties, the zombie properties. And if you want to get crazy big with your marketing, maybe some high equity with some of the filters we have recommended, which the properties been owned by the person for more than three years. There's at least 60% equity and it's not on the MLS. Now on top of this too, you could also JV or what they call coal wholesaling or joint venturing with other people. If you get really good at your buyers, that is a good method for you to find wholesaling deals. And Spoiler alert, you see, I like JVing. So if you want to JV with me, check out the links in the bio. Now, once we find this list, we have to get their phone numbers, right? So what is the top skip tracing I recommend? Well, if you're gonna pay for skip tracing, the best quality skip tracing, bang for your buck wise, is going to be zackday.com or batch leads. But honestly, if you got no money at all and you wanna get anyone's phone number for free, this is actually a secret I give to you that really nobody else in the wholesaling real estate industry wants to tell you. But this is a website called cyberbackgroundchecks.com. 
Now I'm gonna repeat myself. It's called cyberbackgroundchecks.com. Most wholesaling software companies and gurus that make money off affiliate links and stuff, they don't want you to know this website. It is super secret, but Cyber Background Checks has the highest accuracy on any skip tracing platform that is free openly on the internet today. So definitely make sure you write that down, you bookmark it, and use that for finding these leads phone numbers right now. Now once we get their phone numbers, we can actually start marketing out to these sellers. Now where are my top channels for reaching out in virtual wholesaling? Frankly, I stick to three. I make it stupid simple. Cold calling, direct mail, or SMS text blasting. Now cold calling is hands down probably my favorite. You actually get the phone number, you call these people up, you see if they're looking to sell the property, if they're the owner, and are they interested in selling it. You can send some postcards out. If you're looking into getting into direct mail, I do have a free direct mail course. It is called mailingmastery.com. But for most people out here, you're not looking to scale up. So I probably would not recommend direct mail unless you're actually looking to scale up really big. Let's get some wholesaling deals first before we do that. And on top of that too, you can do SMS text blasting. Now I said you're broke. You do not have to pay expensive software to get into SMS. Just grab your regular cell phone, get the phone numbers from cyberbackgroundchecks.com, and just text these sellers out. Say, hey, is this the owner of 123 Main Avenue? Are you interested in selling when they reply back? You could probably send 50, 70, even 80 of those texts out a day. And over time, you'll get good wholesaling leads if you add on your regular cold calling and other marketing channels from there. I'll give you a quick bonus one too. This is another secret I could tell you, but these are just digital bandit signs. And digital bandit signs, is, it's basically a term here we use on the channel, but basically we can put bandit signs digitally online, basically posting on Craigslist and Facebook groups that me and my partner are looking to buy a couple of houses for cash. You're not gonna write that out actually. You're going to use ChatGPT or Bard AI or any of the crazy AI software programs. And you're going to ask it to create a Craigslist ad saying me and my partner are looking to buy a couple more houses for cash. Now, if you want a big, awesome tip on this, make sure you ask the AI to add emojis. When you add emojis, you actually get a better click through rate. You actually get more people actually looking on those ads for Craigslist and the Facebook groups, get more engagement, which gives you more leads, which gets you more money. Once you start getting leads, we're really gonna get into the virtual wholesaling acquisitions process, actually locking up deals. This is when a lot of people get a little stressed out, but really if you follow what I have to say here, it's actually gonna be a really easy process. When you are talking to somebody that wants to sell their house and you're virtually wholesaling, I'm going to give you my complete script right now of talking to a seller and I promise you you can probably write it in the palm of your hand ready M C T P if you're looking at virtual wholesaling right now or just wholesaling real estate in general and you get really scared to talk to a seller and you don't know what to do just focus on that acronym heck I should probably get it tattooed on my hand M C T P M stands for motivation C stands for condition T stands for time frame and P stands for price. So when I'm talking to the seller, first thing we're gonna ask is M, motivation. Hey, Mr. Seller, why are you looking to sell the property? Then we're gonna kind of flow the conversation into C, condition. Hey, Mr. Seller, can you tell me a little bit more about the property? What does it look like? What's the condition of the property? Does it need any updating? How's the kitchen, roof, AC, any repairs? T, time frame. Mr. Seller, when are you looking to sell the property? In an ideal time frame, are you looking to get it out of the house in a month, a week, four months, a year, when? And P, price. Hey, Mr. Seller, what's an ideal price for you to get rid of the property for? or to sell the house for, or a ballpark range for you to sell. When you're talking to the seller, just focus on that acronym and the conversation should go a lot more smooth and you're gonna sound a lot more professional. Now, once they say yes to this, we're going to say this exact thing. Okay, great. It seems like we have everything we need to give you a cash offer. Would you be willing to make a yes to no decision on selling your property today if we gave you a great cash offer? Literally just say that, shut up and see what the reaction. If it's no, no big deal. Well, whenever you're ready, please give me a call back and we can go from here and discuss further. They say, yes, we get into that offer. Okay, great. Well, what I'm going to do is take all your information right here and share this with my partner, Rick. We can calculate exactly what's a good offer that'll work for us and work for you. Is it okay if I call you back in about 45 minutes when I'm done calling Rick and basically have a partner? Guys, if you don't even have a partner, just say Zach is your partner and then wait about 30 minutes, put a timer on and then call them back after you calculated your offer perfectly and then give them the offer from there. Now, there's a lot of good cop, bad cop methods I teach of exactly how to offer. There's a go for no 
method. There's all these other methods, but to make it simple, the method that I'm going to tell you to do right now is just to go for no. We're not going to play any games. We're just going to offer straight up a lowball offer to the seller. Now you might be like, oh my gosh, how much do I offer on the deal? Right here is a handy dandy chart of how to calculate the MAO or what we call the max allowable offer. So we got to figure out exactly what a cash buyer is most likely going to pay for the property. As you can see here, the calculation is basically based off of ARV minus repairs multiplied by a multiplier based on the ARV or what the after repair value. Basically, that's what the house is worth on its best condition after the pairs and everything like that. Take a second to look at this and really calculate exactly what an MAO should be. Now you might be like, oh my gosh, what are repairs? Right here is my repair chart too on exactly how much to calculate on the repairs based on light, medium, and heavy repairs based on the square footage. Obviously these can be a little different in every single market. So I have to make one for every single market in the United States. And this has hands down been the best one we have. From there, we calculate our MAO. We give the seller a call and we say this exact thing to get that offer accepted. Hey John, hey Sarah. After talking to Rick about this, we've calculated exactly how much we can buy this for based on what we have to put in the house. Based on everything, we can offer you $140,000 to buy this house. So the reaction, if you have to negotiate, negotiate from there. Make sure you give an initial lowball offer. We say this a million times, but go for no. Make sure you give an offer that you know the seller is going to say no from the get go, from the beginning, from the start. They have to say no because you are squeezing the most out of that contract so you can actually make the most on the deal. If you don't do this, I promise you, you're leaving tens of thousands of dollars off the table on every single wholesaling deal. Heck, that adds up. You're going to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars a year by not doing this method. Then from there, you stay on the phone. Once they accept that offer, you are going to stay on the phone with your seller and say this exact thing. Okay, great. Yes, we can do 140,000. You agree, I agree. What I'm gonna do right now is send you over an agreement. I'm not gonna say the word contract. I'm gonna say the word agreement. We're gonna send you over that agreement. What's your email? Okay, right now you should be seeing the agreement sent over on the email. Let me know when you see it. The reason you wanna do this and the reason I can't stress this enough, if you do not stay on the phone with the seller when you send the agreement, agreement over, there is a 30, 40% chance they don't sign the contract. You have to be kind of annoying. You have to be so annoying over the phone. They're like, oh my gosh, I want to get this guy off. Let me just sign it to get off, get him off my back. Because sometimes they look at it, they might have a question or two, an objection. If you don't answer that objection, an unanswered objection is going to be a killer for your deal. And you're not going to get that deal locked up. So you do not want to be doing this. You might get other objections when talking to these sellers like, hey, why can't you go to the house? Why can't you physically see me in person? Why is your phone number from a Louisville area code when we live in Idaho to say, hey, the way me and my company do it is we actually get an agreement signed first and then we bring our partners to the house to look at it. Then from there, you overcome that objection. Then you lock up that deal. Use DotLoop, DocuSign, any of the Adobe e-signing services you can pay or they're free. And then once you lock up that contract, you bring it to the title company. And then we have a decision to make here on the virtual wholesaling dispositions process. Do we want to physically go out here and pay someone to take pictures of the property? Do we want the seller to take pictures of the house? Or do we just want to get a trusted cash prior to go in here, take pictures of the house for us. Now, depending on your budget, they're all going to be different. What I do and what I always recommend is just pay someone 50, 60 bucks on Facebook or on like a Craigslist ad to go take pictures on their phone. I recommend if you're going to do that, make sure they take at minimum 50 to 60 pictures and they do a video recording of the deal. There's also BPO or REO photography services or cheap photography services. that will go out here and do it. I would pay anywhere between 50 to 100 bucks to get this done. So you get some pictures. It makes it easier to sell the deal. Now, if you're broke, you can JV with somebody that can do the dispositions process for you that actually go out here and take the pictures and find the cash buyer. Obviously, there are inherent risks to doing that too. You can pay a realtor to go do this too, or you can have a trusted buyer once we get our good buyers and actually have them go out here, take pictures of the house in exchange for them getting their first right of refusal to getting that deal. Now, how much do we sell the deal for? We want to sell it for MAO or a tad below, just get a little discount. And that should be our offer price to the cash buyer. Now, how do we find these buyers and how do we how do we sell this deal? Pretty simple. To find cash bars for virtual wholesaling, you can go to Facebook groups and get them. A ton of them live in Louisville. Go to the Louisville Real Estate Investing Facebook groups. Go find them there. You can cold call the four rents. Call these people up. Say, hey, are you the owner of this house? Are you looking to buy any more rentals? My name is Zach. I'm actually a wholesale in the area. I actually have a deal locked up in the same zip code. You can go to listrei.com, aka PropStream, and actually cold call the cash sales or the flippers tab and get a list of cash buyers and see if they're looking to buy any more. I've done a lot on the channel 
on this. Heck, or you can even ask your virtual wholesaling title company if they have any buyers that they recommend and they might give it to you. Maybe they don't. Property auctions. There's so many ways to find buyers right now. I'd probably stick to the four rents and the cash sales and sprinkle in some Facebook groups in there too. And you'll be able to get these deals done quickly. Now, when you're talking to buyers, it's really important you don't deal with a fake cash buyer. There's a lot of gurus out here teaching you to be a fake cash buyer to Daisy Chain and JV, the JV, the JV deal. And a lot of these people are fake. When you deal with somebody that is claiming to be a cash buyer, we are going to ask them a series of questions. Question number one, how many houses in the past year have you bought for cash? If they say seven, great. Can you give me a address to all seven of those properties you've bought for cash? And if they're legit, they will be able to give it to you. If they are not, they will say something like, oh, it's private information. Look up the address and actually see who signed the deed on the property. This is from public record. Go to the property appraiser or public record, see the deed and just see. You can also request a proof of funds, which is basically asking the bank how much money this person has in the bank account. Ask them how many wholesaling deals they've bought from wholesalers before. If they're okay using our title company, if they're okay with us making a ton of money in the assignment. Basically the basic questions we ask on this channel and you'll see if this person's legit or not. From there, we can send the information about the property one once they're qualified, either we can trust them to go actually out here and walk through the house by themselves, or we can pay somebody 50, 60, 70 bucks to be kind of a chaperone to the person on the walkthrough. We're gonna call the seller up, they say, hey, my partner John's gonna go by and look by the house. What's a good time for him to come by? From there, schedule it out, walk through the house. Once he accepts it, make sure you send him the assignment of contract. Now, before you actually walk them through, you don't wanna waste your time with a bad buyer. Say, hey, are you committed to this price if the pictures and the condition are the same? Yes, I am. Great, they walk through, you send the assignment of contract, make sure they do that $3,000 non-refundable EMD deposit, and boom, we get the assignment of contract done, send over the title company, and it's closing day. Now, the last thing we gotta talk about here is a virtual wholesaling title company. The best way to find a good virtual wholesaling title company is just go to the virtual market we're at on a Facebook group. So I've been using Louisville, for example, here. Just go to Louisville Real Estate Investing Groups, make a post or search on the search bar, wholesaling title companies, and usually there's a bunch of posts about it, and usually everyone just says two or three of these, oh, you Stuart title on Maple Street. They're the best. And if 15 wholesalers say they're really good, it's probably a good virtual wholesaling title company to use. Call that title company up and see if they're okay with virtual wholesaling. Then from there, use them. Give them your contracts, get that check, get that cash, and you'll be good to go. Guys, virtual wholesaling is still the greatest way for anybody outside the country right now or outside of a bad wholesaling market to get rich in wholesaling real estate. You just need a phone and an internet connection. You can get wildly rich by doing this process. The thing is you have to put in the work. You have to learn the best markets. You have to know exactly what to say, the top lists that I've taught you in this video, and most importantly, you gotta do the work. You have to show up every single day, consistently market to sellers, consistently talk to sellers and consistently follow up and you'll get rich. Anyone can become a millionaire right now wholesaling houses. The reason why I love virtual wholesaling real estate right now is it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care how tall you are. It doesn't care what you look like. It doesn't care if you have an accent or not. Virtual wholesaling will only care about how much work you put into it and how much you want it. If you're sick of being broke, you actually want to get rich and make a change in your life and actually change your future forever. Start pulling a list, start finding the deals and get some stinking money, guys. This is a literal $4,000 virtual wholesaling course. Now, it's not 60, 70 hours. It's condensed really hard here, but you just pretend you pay me four grand. Get to work, get your butt to action, and you can do this, guys. This is virtual wholesaling step-by-step. Step. If you got any value from this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. This is Zach Kinn signing out. Have a blessed one.